Consider supporting 8-Bit Eric on Patreon for just a dollar a month. Link below in the description. Hey guys, what's up? It's 8-Bit Eric. Today we are going to take a look at a classic styled RPG game by the name of Antiqua Lost by Chemco. Now, first impression shows that this is a retro styled, simplified RPG turn-based battle type of game. I grew up playing games like this in the Super Nintendo era. Now it is on the Nintendo Switch. Let's go ahead and take a look at Antiqua Lost in today's review. So Antiqua Lost, as I mentioned, a turn-based RPG set in a retro style that mimics the classic games from the SNES era. It was previously out on PS4 and Vita. Now it has been ported over to the Nintendo Switch. Now Antiqua Lost does have mobile gaming roots. This was a RPG Maker style type of game that was also on mobile. Now in Antiqua Lost, you're following a story that involves three major races of characters that all share the same universe of Edelstein. The main character is Bine, who's a fae who crosses a path with Lunaria who's a mixed Fey and Ruta, who also happens to be linked to royalty. Now, many royal figures in the story are going missing. Lunaria asks Bind to accompany her to the capital. They embark on an adventure that has you traveling across all the world, meeting different characters, going through dungeons, towns, the usual RPG fare. Each of the three races in the game have their own unique attributes. The Fey are the more balanced of the three. The Eeth are physical powerhouses and the Ruta are unaffected by physical attacks but are vulnerable to magic. The races are designed with the three elements kept in mind, so there's like fire, water, earth. Overall, it is a simplistic styled RPG. So you, you venture the world map, you come to a town, you talk to NPCs, they have a problem that is plaguing the town, you find the dungeon, you defeat the enemy, you come back to the town, you go to the next place, rinse and repeat, standard classic RPG fare, but that's not a bad thing. I grew up playing these type of retro style gameplay mechanics in RPGs, so I had a lot of fun with Antiqua Lost, even though it might seem a little outdated. There are side quests to do as well with NPCs in each town. Now, just like in classic RPGs, random enemy encounters occur throughout the world map. The battle system set up in a traditional turn-based RPG format. With each character in your party is capable of common physical attacks with whatever weapon is equipped. And of course, various magical spells that range from fire attacks, healing abilities, and so forth. Now, the more that you use a skill, the more you gain experience. So, these skills gain experiences the more you use them. It's a skill-based leveling up system. Victory, of course, you earn gold and XP and gems for Lunaria who actually levels up differently than the other characters. You have to use gems in order to raise Lunaria's stats. Of course, these are randomly collected by winning battle or finding them in the exploration elements of the game. Now, of course, since this was mobile-based, there are some microtransaction elements in here, but they're in the form of DLC packs. There's a couple for like two bucks and one for five. They're not necessarily needed to complete the game. They're just like compliments and stuff. I really didn't honestly bug with them because you really don't need it in this game. Back in the day with RPGs such as Antiqua Lost, there was no need for extra help. You grind it. The whole fun in these type of games is grinding, getting your levels up the right way, and just enjoying the game, exploring it figuring out exactly what to do and that is what Antiqua Lost did for me. It really reflected what I grew up playing and I loved everything about it. The presentation, the art style, the narrative and the story wasn't, the story's narrative wasn't too in-depth but you don't really need that in a classic style RPG game. Can I recommend this for people that are going to try it out? Well if you're into RPGs such as this one, of course, but if you're looking for a more in-depth experience especially with bigger games such as Skyrim coming out. You might want to pass on this, but I do think Antiqua Lost is definitely worth trying. And there's an influx of games coming out. So this one kind of got overlooked and came and gone without being mentioned. But I thought it was worth the mention because a lot of people are clamoring for virtual console and old video games on their Switch. And this is a new game that emulates exactly what you would expect from classic RPGs that would be on the virtual console. So with that said, I say try it out. 
And well, guys, that's it for today's review. Thanks a lot for watching. I appreciate you. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, comment below, hit that like button. I will see you soon.